Hello guys, welcome back to Small Red Dead Redemption. In the last episode, we went to Armadillo, completed a few missions for Marshall Johnson, completed new missions for Bonnie McFarlane as well. And speaking of Bonnie McFarlane, we're now going to complete another mission for Bonnie McFarlane in this episode. I wonder what this mission's going to involve. Let's find out. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarlane? Yes, from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh. Call me Bonnie, you fool. Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was, sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. So Mix McFarlane is struggling with some cattle. Oh, I can help you with that. John's got a ranch of his own. John can easily help you with this. I really know how to herd cattle. I can't lie, herding in the cattle in this game can sometimes be a nightmare. Especially when you're trying to get cows to follow you and trying to stop them from riding, from running away. It can be pretty stressful at times. Come on, Bonnie, let's go. Let's not waste a second. Oh, they're lucky, that's for sure. Come on. They may not always see it, but they are. 
Move in a position behind the herd. Alright, let's get this over with. Herd the cows out of the pen. Alright, come on you cows. Let's go. Get behind the cows in order to get them to move forward. Come on cows, keep moving. No, not that way. This way. Keep going. Come on. Move it. These cows are stressful. So sweep behind and forth behind the herd to keep them moving in a single direction. This way. Come on. What is this cow doing? Don't fall behind, you stupid animal. Yeah, missions like this in the game are very stressful. I'm so glad Red Dead 2 didn't have any missions like this. Well, actually, I think it had one mission like this, actually. Right, come on. Get moving. I need to get a whip or something to whip these guys to follow me. Well, to stay on the right path. Oh, we've got more cows to deal with now, haven't we? Great, more cows. Just what I wanted. Alright, herd the cow to the old oak tree. Alright, come on, get going. But oh, one's running away. I don't think so. No. Where are you going? Well, you're not running away. You're not going anywhere. Follow me. If one tries to escape, I think I'll be just like, fuck it. I'll try to keep them all in this herd for as long as possible. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of these kind of missions in this game. These are the only missions in the game I, I don't really like, to be honest. I'll just go for, or rather go around shooting people. True calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Was that it? That was the mission? Oh, thank God that mission was going on any longer. There'll be worse missions like that later on. Okay, looks like Bonnie's got another mission for us. Okay, in that case, we'll go see Bonnie again. We'll go see what Miss McFarland wants now. Thankfully, that was a short, simple mission, but... There'll be worse her herding missions like that later on. Trust me. Hmm. Looks like I can't see Bonnie yet. Or can I? Come back after 7am today. After 7am? What time is it now? Well, it's nearly 7am. Alright, we'll just wait a bit longer then. Eventually... Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle was take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. 
You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. Sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right. Yes, I've got a lasso. About time. Oh, I've missed this thing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go out and catch some horses today. Alright, let's do it. Let's go catch ourselves some horses. Yeah, I mean, my father seem like nice people. They've got a really nice ranch here. Yeah, we want to happy to help these guys. They did save my life sure after all. Whatever they need help with, I'll sir. help them. Ain't serious, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Whoa there. At least we're not talking about politics throughout the whole trip. I really agree with Bonnie. I hate politics. Alright, let's get lasso race. It's been a while since I did this. Alright, let's do this. I just need to... Just need to catch one of these, and I think that's pretty much the mission it, I guess. Let's find out. Have I got him? Yes, I have. So I just need to tame the horse now. Oh, we'll try and balance off this thing very carefully. This was something Red Dead 1 did not have. It isn't that difficult, this, thankfully. I'm sure if I could stay on this bloody thing. I think some horses do take longer to tame than others. Come on, horsey. So I'll go catch another one, or am I going to catch the one? I'll get another one. That was pretty fun. I do like this, to be fair. This is much. I'd rather do this than herd cows any day. Herding cows is just boring and stressful. You can easily see why. I've got one. Yeah, but I've got one already. Come on, boy. Come on, horsey, just relax. I may look like an outlaw, but trust me, I ain't no outlaw. I was once an outlaw, but no more. I hope I can stay on this horse. Come on, buddy. You're fine, you're in good hands. There we go. There's another one. Let's go back to the ranch. Caught two horses, that was nice. That was so much more relaxing and much more fun than herding cows. It really was. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. 
It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor, but it's straight, and it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarlane. John and Bonnie really do have this sort of strange connection, don't they? Although John Morrison at this point already has a girlfriend, Abigail Morrison. He's already married by this point. We saw John and Abigail get married at the end of Red Dead 2 during the end credit sequence. But if Abigail wasn't around, I could just picture John Morrison and Bonnie McFarlane going at it for some reason. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Okay, so the mission's not quite done yet. we got to go catch even more horses. All right, we'll do that. Go all the way to Armadillo. I like to call it Armadillo. Armadillo, because I'm that immature sometimes. I'm a dildo. I'm a dildo. <laughs> I'm a dildo. Man, I really need to grow up sometimes. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors. That's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses. Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my paw's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. I'll tell you what, you're worth more than Bill, Dutch, and Javier combined. How's that for a compliment? My wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Tomorrow I'll teach Come you on. about rain. Ride behind the herd. Let's drive them up the canyon. So I think the herd's just going to be over here. We'll Let's go to them. I don't know if I have to stay with Bonnie for this, but at least I know where the herd is. It's on the map. Let's get I've got a lasso ready. Alright, let's go catch him. There they are. Guide her toward the canyon. Oh, I'm not going to last them just yet, I'm just going to guide them toward the canyon. Alright. We do that, it'll make it easier for us to catch them. Alright, come on. Let's get going. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Well, I need to get myself not going the right way. Right, it's not this way, it's that way. Just, f I'm guessing if they just follow the path, it'll take them straight to the canyon. What are these two horses doing? Guide her toward the canyon. Come on. This way. Keep going. Okay, at least none of them have run off yet. that to me. I'd much rather chase these horses than, than herd them around all day.
Alright, come on, OC. Come here. Have I got it? No, not quite. That was miles off. Let's go. Just want to throw this thing carefully. Is it heading back the way it came? No, it's not. Is this thing just going to ride around in circles? Come on, horse, I need to get my stamina back. There we are. Right, see if I can ride it back. Might just see if I can ride it back and call for the horse later. That'll probably be the easiest way to get it back. So I tell this horse is going to take a slightly longer to tame. Especially when it tried to escape those horde of horses. But, hopefully we can tame it still. Come on, John, stay on him. There we go. Go to Bonnie. Come on, horse, need you to follow me still. Let's go. Got your horse, Bonnie. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Well, that went well. It looks like Bonnie's got another mission for us. Alright. Let's fast travel back to McFarlane Ranch and go do another mission for Bonnie. I think we've got time for another mission. Looks like Bonnie's not at the house, she's actually in this barn. Alright, let's go see what she wants in here. Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Hey, Amos! Hey, miss. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Come on, Amos. Time to get wet and dirty. Can't people go to rescue those horses? Damn, this is horrible weather. That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Past is who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no change in that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. I just hope I have to guide them all the way back here. I hope so. We're going to be dealing with some more cows. Just hope we can guide them all back there safe. Here are the cows. They don't look spooked yet. Oh, I've got to be on that side. Alright, I'll go get the other herd. Move the herd near the old oak tree. Oh, that's why I need to take them. Oh, okay, I see. Alright. These missions really aren't for me, but we're going to do them anyway. Let's see if I can challenge myself and get them all back to where they need to be. Come on. 
When a cow comes to a blue blimp will appear on the map to show you it's trying to escape, basically. And one's trying to escape over here. I don't think so. Back over there. Come on. You ain't going anywhere. You're staying with us. Well, if that cow don't stay with us, it's going to die. So I don't understand why he'll try to run off in the first place. Is he trying to escape and all? No, he isn't. Come here. Where do you think you're going? And another one's trying to escape over here. Alright, I'll go grab that one. Why can't they all, all stay together, those stupid animals? Come on, horses, you all need to stay together. Another one's going to try and run off any second. I just know it. How do we can keep them all together? So far, they're all staying in a single path, making things so much easier. Okay, we're almost there. Lightning had to come at the worst time. And they're all scattering. I don't think so. We're in front of the herd to slow them down. I'll go in front of them. Alright, this isn't going to be easy. I just want to get in front of them. Come on, see, I need to keep staring up to get in front of them. They're going that way now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh oh. Oh, for God's sake. This time I'm going to do it properly, do it as quick as possible, get in front of them. Oh, for God's sakes. They're just running. No, 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 they're not. Right, okay. I thought they were just going to run straight past me. Right. They all stay together. This time I don't fucking run off. Always the one, isn't there? Oh, there we go, that's doing it. Right, come on. Let's get moving. Time to get you back. Move it, you stupid animal. Come on, we ain't got all day. Move! No! Forget that cow. Return to Bonnie. Oh, I think I've got him. Oh, now he's deciding to run. Oh, I've got some of them. Let's go round up the last two. I'll go grab get this one as it's further away. Where do you think you're going? Come on. Move the herd back to the ranch. Alright, come on, you stupid animals. That was eventful. Again, second attempt lucky with this. So I've got all of them so far. Some of them are good trying to escape, I just know it, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. This is one brutal storm we got out here today. Come on. Go this way. This way. Ah. Come on, get back with the rest of the group. At least we've got all 21 of them so far, and hopefully, ju yep, just over here. At least we finally managed to round them all up. All of them 
safe and sound. Boy, am I glad that's over. Herding cows is really not my thing. So it looks like Bonnie hasn't got any more missions right now. So it looks like Nigel West Dickens is the next person we're going to go to now. Oh, I don't like this guy. He's so annoying. Where is he anyway? Looks like he's out there. Not far from Armadillo, actually. So I'll set a waypoint here. And then we'll fast travel to the waypoint. I don't think I can get the fast travel out here, as we are quite close to the ranch. So I'm going to move away a bit, set up a camp, and we'll fast travel to the waypoint. I'm so glad this game lets you fast travel to waypoints. So we're now in Koala Springs, not far from Nigel West Dickens. So Nigel West Dickens is just there. I think we'll talk to him in the next episode, as we have done quite a bit of this episode. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching all the Red Dead Redemption episodes uploaded to my channel. And next episode, we'll go see Nigel West Dickens. Go see this annoying fella. I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is GoldieX, and I'm out. Thank you.